Shalom Yasharallah, peace Israel. Call Halayim, Wahat the Pa'arath La, Allah Haya Nawa Yahawa, Baha Shem Shah Malat Nawa Yahawa Shai, Baha Shem Shah Ha, Rechakadash, La Iwalam Yam. Giving all praises and the glory to our power, Yahawa, in the name of our King Yahawa Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit forever. Shalom Wa Ahab, Wa Barakim, La Ha Bayat Shah Dawada, Habakayayim Shah Yasharallah. Peace and love and blessings to the house of David, the elect of Israel. Shan Yaqabat, Gawala Rakub, Zukwayim Nawa, Waha Shalayakim Nawa, Shah Yasharala Ba'ith. Double honors to the men of Great Millstone, who rule well, our elders and our apostles in these times. So I just want to make this lesson real quick through the Spirit. Waha Rakadash. Uh Lord willing is edifying. And and we get some uh some some understanding. In, in this 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 modernized term, right? Cheat, right? Or cheater, uh, cheating, cheaters, um, however you want to, uh, you know, uh, speak it, right? So Esau Edom has created this false construct of adultery, right? And and they label as uh, cheating, cheaters, um, you know. No good, two-timing nigga, you know. However, you know, wait, a so-called black woman takes it to the next level, man. They have drunken the Babylonian wine, and they believe that if a man sleeps with another woman, that that man has no integrity, he's not faithful, right? That he is unworthy to 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 continue his 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 uh, relationship with the previous woman. But we know through the Holy Spirit, right, and according to the Holy Scriptures, that a man can have as many women as he wants. As long as it's not in wickedness, as long as he's not committing adultery, and adultery according to the Scriptures is when another man or uh, another man sleeps with a, a, a another man's woman, or a woman sleeps with another man when she's already betrothed to a, a husband, you know? Only women are, are 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 monogamous. They're not a you're a woman is not supposed to have multiple men's rods penetrating her because that is that is unclean. The scriptures even say thou shalt not sow diverse seeds, man. You know, the man carries the seed. So according to the scriptures, a man could have as many women as he as he wants. But in this current society, I would not advise it. I wouldn't um I wouldn't tell you to have multiple women in this place. Now if you do, you know, and and, and you got it in order, you know, hey, that's 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 up to you, man. You know, that's your lot. But not everybody can handle that, man. Not everybody can keep that in order. That's just gonna bring trouble in the flesh, right? But I wanna get into this word. I wanna, you know, get into some precepts. I got a video, you know, Lord willing, you know, you brothers. And you sisters out there can can get some understanding because this this whole cheating thing, man, is get has has ran its course, man. It has ran its course. I always see like little TV shows or whatever. Oh, he cheated on me and da 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 da. That nigga did this to me and I cut his dick off and wah wah wah. Police came and I ain't even go to jail because I told him, you know, that nigga was sleeping with another woman behind my back. You know, <laughs> it's like no, this, this is that's wicked, man. That is wicked. You're, you're trying to put a man in this box, you know, and, and put a little bow on top and say, oh, you know, you can't come out this box. You can only come out this box when, when, when you fucking with me. And, and, and if you come out that box, even if you look outside that box, I'm going to call the police. And that's how that's how they that's how they, they they treat a man. You know, that's why a lot of these men are, 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 are simps, you know. They're, they're afraid to speak their mind. They can't uh, control their households because what? They got Esau at the uh, at the dial of a fingertip, man. You know? Woman is ready to call Esau at any given. Ah, nigga, try me. I'll call the police on you. You know? They ready, man. Anyway, let me get into this word. This, uh, this is the definition of cheat, right? I'm going to get the point uh, going down right here. It says informal. It says being sexually unfaithful. Right. It says, I wish someone had told me my partner was cheating on me. 
commit adultery. Uh, this is the simil, uh, you know, synonyms. Commit adultery, be unfaithful, stray, be untrue, be incons, uh, con constant, be false, two time, play away, play around. Now, this only applies to a man who sleeps with uh, uh, another man's woman. And I can actually, let me just prove all things, right? Uh, you know, I got that precept too. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm just type it. Betroth. Husband. <clears throat> uh, I think I spelled that wrong. Salakia. This is... This is Deuteronomy 22, verse 22. It says, If a man be found lying with a woman married to a husband, then they shall both of them die, both the man that lie with the woman and the woman, so shalt thou put, put away evil from Israel. So it says, If a man lying with a, a woman that is married to a husband, they shall, shall be both put to death. Now, why didn't the scripture say, if a man be found lying with another woman, he shall be put to death. That's because that's not scriptural, man. You know, the scriptures even say that if, if uh, I had it, it's, let me grab that real quick. Exodus 21 and verse uh, 10. Yeah, I'll just get the point. Verse 10, it says, if he take him another wife. If he take him another wife, what is a wife? A wife is a, a, a female servant, right? Or that, that that's the definition for woman. But a wife is a, a when you go into a woman, man, you know, I'm going to get that later. It says, if he take him another wife, her food, her raiment and her duty of marriage. What is the duty of marriage? Sex, right? Going, uh, uh, giving each other due benevolence, right? It says, uh, and her duty of marriage shall he not diminish, right? So that means you have to, you got to get that woman something to eat. You got to get that woman uh, her, her clothing, right? Because in, in the ancient times, women weren't working. You know, they might, uh, you know, draw some water for the, the cattle. You know, they do things around the house. They, they ra raise the children. But as far as out there back breaking labor, that woman wasn't doing that. This is, Amer that's, they do that in America, man, you know? And, and you got women out here who's tired of that. They're like, what the hell are you thinking? We could have just been sitting in the house doing nothing, taking care of the house. And, and you dumbasses talking about feminism, you know, but uh, verse 11, it says, and if he do not these things, uh, these three, three unto her, then shall she go out free without money. She shall go out free without money, man. And and that's that's a big thing in America when a uh, uh, so-called man, uh, you know, cheats. Right on his woman, and and the woman feels some type of way. She she's entitled to her half his things, man. Especially if they're married, right? So um, I'm gonna uh play this video real quick, and uh, and <laughs> I'm gonna just get into it a little bit. Bear with me. Nigerian woman married to a Nigerian man. We've been married for over eight years. You understand? I have caught him cheating a few times. But lately he said he wanted to go for a vacation back home because he hasn't been back home for a while. And he wanted to go see his family. Little did he know I had our, our line set up in such a way that I know what everybody's doing on their phone, including the kids. He's not savvy to electronics and stuff like that, but I am. But I have been eavesdropping way before his trip to Nigeria. And I noticed that he has been talking to another woman in Nigeria, what they're going to do, where they're going to meet. The whole nine, I knew everything that he was planning and what was going to happen when he leaves. But, you know, us humans, 
we always going to do what we feel like, when we want to do it, how we want to do it. You can't really stop anybody from doing what they want to do, especially if they have premeditated and they, they, they have a fantasy of what they're going to get out of it, how great and good and pleasurable it's going to be to them. So I didn't say nothing to him. I just pretend I didn't know. But I had to do something that after this man comes back, He's going to pay. He's going to pay for such deceit. So you see there, right? She, she's saying, because <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure this is a, a, a Jake woman. Because a lot of times, them heathen women, uh, unless they're, you know, drunk off of the Babylonian juice, which a lot of women are, they, they you know, they, hey, they're more submissive, man. They're more... Um, unlikely to to go against a man because they know that the man is the head you know but she's like no i'm gonna pay this man back i'm about to i'm about to get him good that's 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 that evil eye towards her husband you know uh that uh she she wants to she wants to pay him back because she feels as though she has been uh betrayed right when 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 <laughs> it's in the scriptures that a man is is allowed to to have multiple women, you know? I was going to make him miserable. I was going to make him suffer the consequences. So I waited till he left. Mind you, we got a big, beautiful house and we live in large, all right? So a day after he left, I went looking for me an apartment. I got an apartment. It was just a small, affordable, two-bedroom apartment. We have three kids. All right, we can, me and my three kids can fit in, in, in the two bedrooms, you know, two bedrooms. I mean, nobody else. So I got my apartment and then I went, I booked a storage. I had to book two storage units because, I mean, I needed to put more than half of the stuff we had in the house and in the garage in the storage. I did that and then I hired a moving company to put what I didn't need in the storage and bring what I needed in the apartment, okay? Within a week or two, I had all that done. And then I cleaned the house and prep it and put it on the market for rent. Without his knowledge. He was doing his thing, going to Nigeria to see another woman without my knowledge. So whatever I want to do to hurt his feelings too, I got to do it without his knowledge. It ain't got to be a... So I just want to comment on that. You can't tell me that that's not <laughs> a, a Jake woman. Because hey, that that that's the first and when the what with um uh the scriptures say uh I forgot how it goes, but it's to the extent that the the the, the jealousy of a woman is I can't I can't can't even think of the, the scripture right now. You know, if uh, any y'all came out there uh listening can can post that scripture, you know, the water. But Basically, hey, they, hey, the jealousy of a woman is 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 very scornful, man. You know, and uh, it's the same with a man. You know, when you when you see your woman being uh, uh you know, uh, approached by another man, a Jake, wh whoever, you know, you're gonna you're gonna get hot, man. You're gonna get jealous. But women have a unrighteous jealousy when it comes to a, a, a man, right? They have penis envy. They they feel like, you know, if 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 you going out there and, and being a man, according to your nature, you know, especially in, in this Babylonian society, they, they want, they want, they, they, hey, if they don't have control over you and, and, and you can, you know, you have that power to do whatever you want to do when, when it comes to dealing with multiple women, you know, hey, they, they get heated, man, because they're vulnerable. They're weak. They're the weaker vessel, you know, and they know that they can't. Go out there and, 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 and be harlots and not have some type of repercussion, you know? You know, multi, it's women out there that do, you know, be harlots. But, hey, that, hey that, that, that's them. But um, for a morally concerned woman, she's not going to be out there, you know, throwing her body at every, every man. Another man. See, that's what y'all women need to understand. You got to come back at a man without 
going to cheat on him. Mm -mm. That's lowering. That's that's devaluing yourself. No other man need to. Uh uh. So he didn't know. See, she understands that. She understands that because there's a lot of women out here like you. What you cheat? You? I found out he cheated on me. Da 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 da. I'm about to go sleep with somebody else. <laughs> That's a hoe, <laughs> you know. She she understands that you you are degrading yourself, <laughs> you know, when when you do that. And and to be honest, in the spirit, she knows that men is allowed to to do what they want, you know, to to go out and and have other women. That's why she she's gonna say what she's gonna say, you know, when it comes to um. Oh, if you want, I let her talk. He was gone for two months. I got my new place, me and the kids in two little bedroom. I put my house, I put our house on the market and put it for rent at twelve seventy five a month. Yes. Little to his knowledge, when he got back, he went straight to our home, tried his key, he couldn't enter. He didn't see my car, he called me. And he's like, baby, I'm home, but I can't enter the house and your car's not here. Where are you at? I said, I moved out. I have tenants in that house, and it's, it's, they're, they're renting for me. He's like, what? He, he said, this is, this is a joke, right? I said, no, it's not a joke. It's not a joke. Everything you came from doing, I know about it. I knew about it before you could leave. You went to go see another woman. So, you see, that's the thing about marriage. God gave me the right to divorce you right now, but I'm not going to. Now, pause. The, the Lord did not give you any right. To, to divorce a man. The scriptures say that uh, you are bound by the law until your husband dies. You know? So that's 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 Esau that gave you the power to divorce a man and take half half his belongings. Shit, 70, 80 percent of his belongings. You know, the God of this world gave you the power to divorce uh, uh, your husband, you know, and, and, and be in, in, in wickedness. And go remarry while your husband is still alive and he's paying some damn alimony or, or, or you know, whatever the hell it's called. You know, uh, I forgot the, the uh, it's a term. Uh, basically, when a when a man and a woman gets divorced, you have to pay a, a, a damn fee, man. You know, you have to literally pay money to her. Uh, if um, I forgot what it's called, you know, Salakia. But hey, that's that's Esau, man. That's the devil. You know, that's that covenant that <laughs> that Eve made with, with the serpent in the garden, man. Divorce you. I'm going to be separated from you for a year until you straighten your act. But within that year, I'm going to pocket all that money for that, that, that those tenants going to be paying. It's going to be mine. If you don't change in a year, I will sell the house and all the money is going to be mine. He was like, you're joking. You're joking, right? He's trying to laugh, but at the same time, he's scared out of his pants. You're joking, right? I said, no, it's not a joke. So whatever Uber or taxi brought you to that house, you better you better tell them to wait for you and leave because I'm about, if, if, if those tenants call me saying that some strange man is trying to enter their house, I'll tell them to call the police. I'll tell them to call the police and you're going to get arrested. So, yeah, so that that's that's uh, Eve's power right now. You know, Eve has the power to call Esau at any at any beckoning call, you know, and, and they're losing that power, man. You know, they're losing that power. That power is, is dwindling rapidly, you know. But I wanted to grab that precept, you know, because I, I um I brought it out about that, you know, divorcing. Right? This is Romans chapter seven, verse one. It says, Not know ye not, brethren, for I speak to them that know the law, how that the law have dominion over a man as long as he liveth. For the woman which hath an husband is bound by the law. To her husband, as long as he liveth. But if the husband be dead, she is loose from the law of the husband. So then, if while her husband liveth, she be married to another man, she shall be called an adulteress. But if her husband be dead, she is free from the, that law, so that she is no adulteress, though she be married to another man. So, be, hey, your husband is alive, man. So, and, you know, she, she had the... The, the respect to, to say, you know, no, I'm not going to deal with another man, but I'm going to do this wickedness. You know, I'm going a, I'm to a sell his I'm going to sell his damn house. I'm going to take his children. Right. And, and, and you're not going to know where they're at. All because 
he dealt with another woman. You know, that's wicked, man. So you women out there think you just this prized possession to where uh, uh, once a man deals with you, they can't touch nothing else. You know, and, uh, and an uh, analogy in the world is like um, if your favorite food is pizza and you eat pizza all day, every day, you're going to get sick of that shit, man. I'm like, man, I don't want no damn pizza today, man. I want some damn fries, a burger, a milkshake, you know? Yeah, even though all that shit is unhealthy, but you get the point. The point is, as an Israelite man, we like variety, man. You know? We, you know, Moabites, Ammonites, Ishmaelite, women, you know? Hey, why you think King Solomon had a thousand women, man? Seven uh, uh, princesses and 300 concubines. Because what? As a king, as a man, right? You like variety. You're not about to, oh, oh, this is my queen. This is my one and only. This is my ride or die. My, my Bonnie and Clyde. You know? No, man. You're going to have Rebecca. You're going to have Sasha. You know? No Laquisha's. You know, but you gonna have you gonna have <laughs> you gonna have you gonna have variety, man. So that's almost hey, that's spiritual. It's four 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 right there. But we gonna um you know finish this off, and then I'm gonna grab some more precepts. He was like, "You're joking? You're so you're serious, right?" I said, "Yes, I am." So where do you live? I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you. You'll see the kids. I'll bring the kids wherever you at, but I'm not telling you where I'm staying. You're not going to know where I'm staying. So all, uh, all the cheating you did here in America, and then you're going to go. You're going to go on a vacation back home to see another woman. And you, I mean, if you need a vacation to be in the company of a woman, me, you and I should have planned a trip, husband and wife. Go and have fun in other countries and really and really enjoy our relationship and, and, and give it this kind of uh, uh, upgrade that will make us grow more closer together. But no, you decide to take your money and your time and go spend it with another woman in Nigeria. So you're on your own. Go grab your stuff and your taxi. Go to a friend or a family house and stay there. I will bring the kids over to you for you to for them to see you. But the day you figure out where I live and show up to my apartment, you will you will sleep in jail. You will sleep in jail. He was like, you are something else. You are something. You're a dangerous woman. I said, you're a dangerous man. You're a dangerous man. You don't know how you're how how, how you're a dangerous man. That thing between your legs that you keep putting in every hole, you could bring me a disease that makes you a dangerous man. You're even more dangerous than me. And and that's that's the that's pretty much the point, you know. We, see, women women think that uh, when a man sleeps with with another woman, they can bring home a disease, right? And and that's true, you can. But if it's in wickedness, if you out there sleeping with another man's woman, the Lord is gonna plague you, man. He's gonna give you a a, a, a fleshly uh, pestilence, you know. Now, if you out if if, a, if you out there dealing with a woman who's not betrothed to a husband, you know, and and you know, hey, it could have been a, a friend from from back in the day, and you like, yo, she ain't got no man, she ain't ain't, ain't have a man for what, how many ever years, whatever, you know, we in Babylon, so a lot of these women already slept with a man before, but she's not dealing with nobody, and 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 you know she not, and and she trying to, you know. Get down. Hey, hey, that's free game, man. But women, uh, especially in Babylon, they feel as though if you stick your rod in another woman, you you defiled. <laughs> You're unclean now. When it's actually the other way around. If a, if, a, if another man sticks his rod in you while you're with a, a man, you're defiled, you know? And I'm about to grab that. I'm about to grab it real quick. This is... um. Uh, let me see. This is the book of Jeremiah. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter <clears throat> three, verse one. It says, they say, if a man put away his wife and she go from him and become another man's, shall he return unto her again? Shall not that land be greatly polluted? But thou hast played the harlot with many lovers. Yet re return un again to me, saith the Lord. Right, so this right here is, is the Lord speaking to Israel, man. You know, 
We 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 went off and and, and uh committed spiritual fornication, serving other gods, right? And 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 we defiled ourselves be, uh, because of 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 the act that we committed. You know, and the Lord, hey, he uses an analogy, man. If a, a man put his, put away his woman and she sleep with another man, can that man go back to that woman? You know, no, that, she, she has another uh, man's spirit in her, man. Another seed, you know. So I'm um, going to finish this off. And you then could bring me a me. disease that will kill me. You are very dangerous. You are very selfish. You understand? So don't call me dangerous. You are the dangerous and selfish one. All right. So. After a year, let me know if you still want to be with me. If you don't want to be with me, if you want to be with your Nigerian woman or whoever side chick you have here in America, feel free. I will file a divorce. I will sell the house. All the money is going to me, okay? Because you stepped out of this marriage. You stepped out of this marriage. It was your choice. You understand? So just go where you can go. But for now, the house is out for a rent. It will be out for a rent for a whole year. They sound a one-year lease. So figure out what you want to do. From now on, you will never try me if we stay together. Now, you can't Talk tell me that's not a Jake woman, man. You know? Now, hey, I'm pretty... Hey, she, she, she's not at that level of fucking just bugging out and going crazy because she, you know, she probably ain't got that many spirits on her. But for the most part, for you to sell or put up a man's uh, house for rent, you know, I don't give... I don't care... How much money you put towards that house, man? If, if his name is on that house, if his name is on that title, hey, that's his possession, man. And and you you going behind his back and selling his possessions when you could have just, you could have been a woman. You could have been like, yo, I know what you did. You went behind my back, this, that, and the fourth, and what you didn't tell me, you know? But no, what they do is, they like, oh, you going to be sneaky? I'm going to be sneaky. You know, that type of deal. And, and of course... Ain't no Jake about to just walk up to his woman and be like, yo, I'm about to go sleep with this other bitch real quick. You know, uh, I'll be back a couple months, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's a real ass nigga, man. You know, um, in, 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 in uh, so to speak. Right. So at the end of the day, in this society, ain't no man. Go, uh, no man can actually go up to their woman. Right. And say, yo, I'm about to do this, do this and that. And, and, and. Your woman not feel some type of way. So, of course, you're going to do it without, without you know, letting her know. Because what? You're going to get in her emotions. Oh, how dare you? Why would you do this to me? You know? And to avoid all that, you know, you might as well just go do it. Come back. And, and, and it's, it's a wrap. Now, now, I can say, at the end of the day, I don't advise that. I'm not saying that, that that's, that's, that's the right thing to do. Because we're in Babylon, man. We're in our captivity. We have no power in this place, you know, but when the when the kingdom of heaven comes, trust and believe me, trust and believe you. How about Shimei I was shy that hey, we're going to have millions of women, man, billions of women to ourselves. Ne ne never shall a man touch your wife again, man. That was a curse. Thou shalt betroth the wife and another man uh, uh, sleep with her, man. That was a curse. That will never happen again, man. You know, so um, it was uh, another point that I wanted to grab because I wanted to actually read this again. Uh, Salaki, I was on um, blue letter. I want to read this again because what she said was she said she was going to sell the house and um, uh, basically all the money was going to go to her. and He wouldn't see none of that money. That's wicked, man. You know, this is uh, Exodus 21 again in verse uh Verse 10, it says, if he take him another wife, her food, her raiment and her duty of marriage, shall he not diminish? And if he do not these three unto her, then shall she go out free without money. Right. So even if he did leave you, man, even if he was like, you know what? Um, you know, I'm not going to take care of you no more. Um, you know, I got I got another woman uh, and I'm taking care of her. I'm giving her food, clothes and I'm, and I'm popping her. You know, you have to leave without money, man. You already received uh, uh, three children from this man, you know, and and there's another uh, precept in uh, Deuteronomy, right? I think it's Deuteronomy 21, and uh, this is it. Deuteronomy 21 and 15. If a man have two wives, one be loved and another hated, 
and they have borne him children, both the beloved and the hated. And, and if the first son, firstborn son be hers that was hated, then it shall be when he maketh his sons to inherit that which he hath, that he may not make the son of the beloved firstborn before the son of the hated, which is indeed the firstborn. So, hey, right there is it, it letting you know a man can have two wives. You're going to have you're going to have a, 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 a point in your life where if you have two women, you're going to like one more than the other. That's just how it is, man. Didn't Jacob like love Rachel more than than Leah? You know, but hey, he was popping the hell out of Leah, man. Leah bared him what, like eight children? Uh, almost <laughs> damn near nine nine kids came out of Leah's womb, man. You know, Rachel only had uh uh Joseph and Benjamin, you know, and 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 uh her handmaids, um, you know th their handmaids bared Jacob children as well, man. You know, so we have to understand that that whole cheating narrative, that whole thing about men s stepping out of their relationship. That's that's bullshit, man. That is that's Babylonian wine, you know, and, and a lot of you women are drunk from that wine, man. You really you really believe that you have power over a man. You only have power over a man uh, over the man that he gives you, man. Uh, when a man gives you the power, that's when you have power over him, you know, and, and the only power that you hold is, is what's between your legs. That's why you, you hold, you hold that, you hold that hostage. Oh, you ain't getting none tonight. You ain't getting none tonight. <laughs> you know, women, women really hold what uh, they, they, uh, <laughs> a saying in the world, you hold the pussy hostage, man. You got a gun up to it. I'm going to kill this. I'm going to kill it. <laughs> if you don't do what I say, it's going to die. It's going to die tonight. <laughs> you know? And that's wicked, man. The scriptures say that, uh, you, hey, you have to give room for, for uh, due benevolence, man. Otherwise, Satan, Satan can come in there, right? Uh, let me see if I can find that in the sword real quick. And I'm going to pull it up. Um, I think it's, uh, let's see. Oh, I think it is the seventh chapter. Give me one second. Salakia, Akim. Salakia. <clears throat> this is it. Let me grab it over, uh, over, over, on here. This is uh, the book of 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 7. Right? And I'm going to just read it down a little. It says, Now concerning the things where, whereof ye wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. And that word... Uh, touch goes back to um, uh, sexually, you know, it, it's good to not basically uh, be sexual with a woman. It says, uh, actually, to prove that, I'm going to just grab it real quick. Um, yeah, prove all things, man, you know. It says, uh, the Greek. Strong's G, 680. Hoptima. 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 There's lexicon. Hopto. 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 Right? It says to fasten oneself to, adhere to, cling to, to touch of carnal intercourse with a woman or cohabitation. Right? And that's the point. Right? It's uh, carnal intercourse with a woman. So it says, uh, now concerning the things whereof you wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife and let every woman have her own husband. So just because it says let every man have his own wife doesn't mean that he can't have uh, multiple women. Right. That is his wife or his wives, you know, but it says let every woman have her own husband. That doesn't mean that you can have multiple husbands. You know, it says verse three. This is the point. Let the husband render unto the wife due benevolence and likewise also the wife unto the husband. So that means, uh, let me get this word for benevolence. Um, I'm first, I'm going to get render, right? This is the word uh, render. Strong's G 591. Apodidomy. 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 Right. It says to deliver, to, to give away for one's own profit what is what is one's own to sell to pay off discharge what is due debt a debt wages right um things promised under oath right doesn't the scripture say 
that um the the um in Exodus you have to give that that woman her 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 duty of marriage, you know? That that's a oath. When you when you go into a woman, you, you that's a oath, man, you know? That she has to be she is your wife now, man. I'm going to grab that precept after uh, I get this. But uh, that's the point on that. Uh Salaki, I was supposed to. Now I'm going to get the word for the uh, benevolence, right? Do benevolence. Strong's G, 2133, you know ya. You know ya. You know ya, right? It says goodwill, kindness, right? Uh, going down, it says kindness, um, euph euphemistically, uh, conj conjugal duty, conj conjugal duty, right? Let's look this up, conjugal. It says relating to marriage, or the relationship of a married couple, right? Conjugal duty. What is that? That's sex, man. Right? Do benevolence. You know? Because what is uh, your duty is something that you have to do, right? A duty. And then uh, go on. Let me read this again. It says uh, conjugal, co conjugal uh, duty, right? Relating to marriage or the relationship of a married couple. What do what do married couples do, man? They have sex, right? So, uh, going back, right, 1 Corinthians 7 and 3, let the husband render unto the wife due benevolence, and likewise also the wife unto the husband. So, if the wife out here talking about, oh, nigga, if you, know, if you, if you ain't taking me out and doing this and doing that, you know, you can't get none. You ain't going to get none tonight, you know? No, you can't touch me no more, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Find out, dog, he, because you, you being that way, he like, yo, shorty in my ear talking about this, that, and the fourth. She ain't had no, she, she, she doesn't have a man, and, and I know she doesn't have a man because I know her. I, I, I see how she moves, right? I'm about to deal with her. So now you, 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 you and your feelings, because you're not performing your wifely duties, right? And 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 and, and he gets it from somewhere else, but he's the problem. You know, he can't keep it in his pants. Right. When we know that the Israelite man has the highest uh, sexual. Uh, what's the word? Uh, the, the, the desire or the highest libido on the earth, man. The Israelite man has the, the highest libido on this planet, you know. So it says, um, verse four, the wife hath not power of her own body, but the husband. And likewise, also the husband have not power of his own body, but the wife, right? So it's, it's a balance. You know, a woman doesn't have power over her own self, right? Because the scriptures even say that the head of the woman is the man, you know? It says, likewise, the husband have not power over his body, but the wife. So that means uh, when it comes to you being aroused, you know, you feeling, uh, you, you know, you want you want to, to experience that that pleasure, you know? You you don't have power over it. You can't be like, oh nope. You I'm, I'm not I'm not doing that today. You gotta fast. You gotta pray to really subdue that urge, man. You know. Uh, verse five says, "Defraud ye not one another, except it be with consent for a time, that ye may give yourselves to fasting and prayer, and come uh, come together again, that Satan tempt you not for your inconsistency." Right. It says, uh, if if you do. Uh, you know, separate for a, a, a point of time, you know, you, you separate, not really separate, oh, I'm going over here, I'm going over there, is, is uh, that time where you're not giving each other due benevolence, right? Because when you fast and you pray, you're not supposed to have sex. You're not supposed to um, have in intercourse, you know, because that's the time for the Lord, man, fasting and praying. That's, that's, uh, that's the time for the Heavenly Father and the Son. Right. But it says you have to come together again that Satan tempt you not for your inconsistency. Let's get this word for inconsistency. Right. Inconsistency. Let's see. The Greek. Strong's G 192. Akrasia. 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 Right. It says want of self-control. Woo want of self-control, inconsistence, intemperance, right? Going down, Strong's definitions, want of self-restraint, 
access and consistency, right? So, hey, the point, man, want of self-control, man. So, it'd be, it, it could be a time where, you know, you, 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 you doing what you got to do and, you know, you're giving your woman due benevolence. She's giving you due benevolence, right? Fellatio, whatever, however it is, you know? And it comes to a point to where, you know, you stressed out, spirits on you. You know, you got to fast and pray. You know, you got, you're getting stressed out in the world. And, 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 you know, she probably yapping in your ear about whatever. And now, and now you you like, man, I ain't, I ain't about to touch you right now, man. I'm about to do my own thing, da 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 You know? You ain't out there necessarily being with other women, but you just need that personal space for yourself, right? Hey, Satan can hop on her, man, and and, and uh, or Satan can hop on uh, another dude and be up in her ear talking about, oh, yeah, da-da-da-da-da, you know, what's up, this, that, and the fourth, you know? Uh, you know, I know you got a man, blah, 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 but that's cool. You know, blah, blah, blah. you know, you know, niggas, bro, niggas out here will, will smooth talk the hell out of uh, uh, your woman, man, to, to get her to, to sin against you, man, to commit adultery. Right. But that's why you have to give her due benevolence. You give her that due benevolence. She's not going to, to step out on you unless she's just a wicked ass woman, you know, and the Lord is going to handle her, man. But for the most part, you have to make sure that. That you you are not inconsistent in 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 uh in in what you have with your woman, you know, and vice versa, you women, what you have with your man, because at the end of the day, a man is a man, you know. We have we have a seed, we have a rod, rod rods are meant to penetrate, right? To be to 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 uh, <laughs> hey, you put the pipe down, man. At the end of the day, and you plant your seed. We have we have billions of 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 sperm cells in our in our sack. And you think, you know, you're just a title to that? No. The scriptures say be fruitful and multiply. How can we be fruitful and multiply if we only, we're only one woman? It, it, that's contradictory, man, you know? So uh, that, that, that's the point on that. Um, it was another precept that I wanted to bring out. Basically dealing with... Uh, um, Damn, it's slipping me right now. Let me see what I got here. Uh, let's see. Oh, con. Let me grab that real quick. I'll go to to this. The book of Sirach. 25, man. Or 20. Yeah, 25. Because, hey, <laughs> that's that's wicked, man. What she said and what she did, you know. Hey, she's going to get judged for that, man. Putting him out like that. Right? It says, um, this is Sirach. 25 and I'm gonna get the point right so rock 25 and verse 13 it says give me any plague but the plague of the heart and any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman you know any plague but the plague of the heart you get the plague of the heart oh you depressed you know you you might be smitten with madness you know you 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 can be uh smitten with blindness to where you don't know what the hell is going on you know, that's the plague of the heart. You know, a hey, depression is very serious, brothers. If you depressed out there, you you gotta you gotta make sure you pray to the Heavenly Father to, to get that spirit off you, man. That's a plague, you know. It says, and any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman. And hey, the wickedness, and hey, you see what that 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 woman did. She sold the hey, amen. She put this man's house for rent, man. He has nowhere to sleep now, man. You know how wicked that is? And she literally just made this man homeless, man, because he went to deal with another woman. And she she got in her feelings. You know, that's wicked. Verse 14, it says, and any affliction, but the affliction from them that hate me and any revenge, but the revenge of, of enemies. And, and doesn't the scripture say she that is my enemy shall see it and shame shall cover her? Hey, hey, the woman is an enemy right now, man. And, and what he said, give me any revenge but the revenge of an enemy, man. That's 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 cruel, man. That that is beyond uh uh cruel, bro. Only only a woman can could con, con, construct and devise this damn plan to completely crush a man uh, in his whole essence, man. And she even said it. He was on the phone like, yo, are you serious? <laughs> are you are you serious? Are you serious? 
You sold my house? What? That's heavy. That's heavy, man. It's uh, verse 15. It says, there is no head above the head of a serpent. And there's no wrath above the wrath of an enemy. And that's true, man. There's no wrath above the wrath of an enemy. Like Esau, this, this devil hates us, man. You know? And, and Eve comes in the spirit of Esau. That's why she gets that leprosy in her head. That's why she treats you so-called Negro men and Negro uh, 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 Latino men and Native American men like shit, man. That's why your woman treats you like garbage, man. Because she has the wrath of an enemy in her heart, man. The scriptures say that the uh, let me I brought it out twice. Let me just get it. Uh, let's see. Uh, damn, it slipped my mind again. <laughs> I completely just forgot what I was. It says there's no head above the head of a serpent. There. Oh, there's no wrath above the wrath of an enemy. She's coming in the spirit of Esau. And oh, why do you have I completely forgot, you know, Salaki I'm going to get the curse, right? Uh, 54, Deuteronomy 28, 54 or 28, 56. It says the tender and delicate woman among you, which will not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness. Her eye shall be evil towards the husband of her bosom. And towards her son and towards her daughter. So, hey, it says the eye shall be evil towards her, the husband of her bosom, you know. And and, and that's the woman of, of your nation, man. You know, because that, hey, Jake can get a heathen woman. Jake can get a Moabite, get an Edomite. Jake can get Ishmael, you know, Elam. Jake can deal with all these heathen women, man. But when it comes to the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American woman, it's all hell, man. It's hell. You know? Why? Because we under them curses, man. We under the curses. So now uh, I'm going to jump back to the book of Sirach, grab a, a, a little bit more of this, and I'm going to close it out. Um, Sirach 25 and... 19, all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. And and I'm pretty sure that dude wasn't right, man. You know, for, for, for his woman to have sold his house. That's heavy, man. You know, that's very heavy. But the scriptures say, hey, this is, this is not going, this is not going to be forever, brothers. You know, that, that. Uh, narrative that Esau has, has put put out, you know, this cheating, you know, uh, nar the narrative calling us black Hebrew Israelites, the narrative of um, Esau Edom being the Arabs, all this, all the lies, all this deceit, all this deception is going to be destroyed by Yahweh by Shimei and I'm going to end off on that. Um, Isaiah, uh, what is it? I think it's 29. Let me see, 29. Let's see. Maybe. Okay, this is good too. 29, this this wasn't what I was thinking of, but I'm going to grab this too. It says, Isaiah 29, 16. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him? Of him that made it, he made me not. Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he hath no understanding? The point in this verse is, surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Right? You got the woman over the man. Having this, this, this woman believe that she can literally destroy any man's uh, foundation. Right? His, his wealth. And get away with it. You got women out here that think they're equal to men. You got women out here that think they're above men. You know? Let me grab that. And that's a, I'll end it on this. Covering cast. It was 58. <clears throat> oh, Salaki, that's not it. Uh, let 
This is it. Isaiah 25 and 7. Isaiah 25 and 7, it says, And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. And right now, all nations are in gross darkness, man. But Yahweh Bashimi al Shai is shining that light, man, with the men on, on the highways and byways, starting with our elders and apostles, um, you know, on down, Akim on down, that's coming in the same spirit, you know, the spirit of Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy. You know, this is uh what? January, let's see what today is. January uh twenty the twenty second, right? Year of prophecy twenty twenty. And what man? We're coming into a time where the lies are being destroyed, man. The covering cast is being uh uh ripped off of, 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 of the face of the earth, man. You know, the 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 veil that is over all nations is being being uh destroyed you know through these through these scriptures man through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashimi al Shai. so you know Lord willing that was at a fine Lord willing that uh you know gave some brothers even some Akim out there Aquatium some some understanding you know and, and I, I I truly believe like at the end of the day hey the Lord is gonna have to start putting people to death man to for for them to really understand how the severity of, of how they're treating the Israelites, man. You know? Once this devil implements his mark of the beast, the RFID chip, and, and martial law is intact, hey, you women are going to get in order, man. You know? Because right now, you still have liberty. You can get abroad. You still feel like feminism is a thing. You know? When when in, in reality, it's, it's, it's a lie, man. You know? That's when you're going to realize, oh, shit. Let me find this man another woman so he can like me a little bit better. Hey, you're you're literally going to be searching for women to give to your husband in that day man you know but i said enough shalom